what's happening right now from RTV6, the Indy Channel. Indiana police combine the latest technology with tradition. Tonight, a Hancock County toddler is home with his family after wandering away from home Saturday and getting lost for hours in a cornfield. Authorities used heat sensors and helicopters and a bloodhound named Grace. RTV6 reporter Ebony Monet is live downtown with this story. Ebony? Grace has been a tool for Indiana law enforcement, Drew, for more than six years. She has been involved in a number of searches for missing children and elderly. Good girl. With the harness and scent, Grace goes to work. Okay, find it, Grace. The seven-year-old is a certified man-trailing bloodhound. Saturday night, she tracked the scent of a missing toddler lost in a Hancock County cornfield. He got very, very far. You know, and you don't know what that child could be exposed to. Predators, the elements, water, obviously. Indianapolis Metro Police Detective Sergeant William Carter trains Grace 16 hours a month to locate missing children and elderly. After three hours, the survival rate of anyone's missing goes down very, very quickly after those three hours. Like on January 6, 2013, Carter called on Grace to help find an abducted five-month-old. Um, the mom had a sock that was in the bottom of her her uh, diaper bag, and that's what we used as a scent article, and she tracked to the building where the individual was inside with the baby. But not all trails have had happy endings. Carter says time is one of the biggest obstacles. He says it was the drowning of a seven-year-old in 2005 after a long search that sent him looking for a better way. And we watched as they pulled that child out of the water. And at that time, you know, I was thinking there's got to be something, some means, some tools, something that we can use. Shit. Carter says Grace is that tool. She helps guide authorities to the missing and lost when minutes count. Detective Sergeant Carter is not compensated for the training he does with Grace, but he says that every time they go out on one of those searches and they find a child in time, it makes all the effort worth it. Reporting live downtown, Ebony Monet, RTV6.